Hey sweet friends, in this video I am going to do some recreation inspiration. I am so glad you're here. Welcome. This is OK at Home DIY and I am Zaina. Like I said, this is recreation inspiration. I am doing spring DIYs. Marie over at Bluebirds Home and DIY uh, did some flipping of box books boxes like these so I just went ahead and painted these some neutral colors and then I am going to paint some stripes on the side so I'm going to show you how I did that I'm using washi tape this thin washi tape I did purchase from Dollar Tree it's not that sticky and that's why I like to use it on my projects I just like to make sure everything's rubbed down well now I'm using a piece of washi tape there just as a spacer and that's going to create my little stencil for my lines. I can't paint straight lines for the life of me so I have to have a stencil for this. I'm coming in with this cobalt blue from Hippie Crafter. I really love their paint. It's just bright and vibrant and it doesn't take that many coats and it sticks to a lot of different materials. I'm also going to complete my stencil by putting some washi tape on the side to make sure all the sides of my stencil are nice and crisp. Then I just come in with my paint and just go ahead and paint. Well, here's a little mistake I did make. I Since that tape is really thin, I ended up painting over it. I could have put another piece of washi tape there to prevent that but I decided to add another strip I think these old time books really do have different kinds of strips on the sides and so this bright blue reminds me of spring and it's also the take off of the color that Marie used over on her channel I'll link her channel in the description box below and the video that inspired me to recreate these book boxes when I was all done all I had to do is peel off that tape look how easy and crisp that is fix any mistakes I layered this with some other books also inspired inspired by Marie at Bluebird Home and DIY This recreation video is part of this recreation inspiration playlist linked in the description box below. Six Kids in the Glue Gun hosts this with Crafty Shack and their co-host this month is Grace's Neighbor Sharon. Go check them out in the description box below as well as the playlist. This DIY is inspired from Shelly over at Repurpose My Way. I'm sure you know her. She is a doll. I love her channel. She does a lot of primitive and I do a lot of country cottage. So I feel like we kind of mesh our styles. We can mesh our styles a little bit. So when she did this cloche, I knew I wanted to flip this Dollar Tree cloche this way. Now I covered the bottom of that with Mod Podge and then I'm coming in with my color of Marsh by Appleberry. I'm mixing in some calcium carbonate. Now that marsh uh, paint is matte. I started painting this bird I got from the thrift store for 50 cents. I love it. It was actually from Hobby Lobby, uh, but the, the paint did not stick to the bird well. So I went ahead and wiped that off. I wanted to use the bird because Shelly did use one in her, you know, inspiration for this. Then I go ahead and give the bottom two coats of this homemade chalk paint after that Mod Podge has dried. And then I'm just going to go ahead and replace that bird with a knob that I had in my stash. Just going to hot glue that to the top. Nothing special here. I reattached the cloche top to the bottom. I just put a little lamb in it and I love how this turned out. I will link Shelly's channel in the description box below. This last DIY is just a spring DIY that I wanted to create. I felt like this gave the vibe for all three of our channels. So I'm just taking this simple piece of wood. This is just some scrap wood. I had staining it with some raw umber paint by Hippie Crafter and a little bit of water using a rag to do that. 
didn't have to use any paint brushes. And then I'm coming in with this Martha Stewart bird stencil. I think this is beautiful. This reminds me both of Shelly's channel and Marie's channel both of the repurpose my way and bluebird home diy and of course my channel as well i think this is a good little mesh for all three of our channels into this one diy i just put this stencil down and then i'm going to go ahead and pounce and pounce and pounce and pounce some white chalk paint all over this stencil and I love the fact that this stencil is adhesive. I made sure I rubbed that all down, all the little angles, to get a good crisp line. I absolutely love showing you guys what it looks like when I pull up the stencil, so I had to leave that in there. Once everything was dry, I'm just taking some green and white twine. I did get this at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the top and around the bottom. I think this gives it a nice spring little vibe to it. Of course, birds always remind me of spring. I'm not using any hot glue, just tying the string together. And to finish off the top, I'm just going to do a shoestring bow. That's it for you. A nice quick inspiration video from other YouTubers that inspire me to create. I hope you go check out everybody's channel in the description box below. Come on over into the comments and tell me hi and let me know which one of these was your favorite. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love it if you joined our crafting community. Until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.